Hi everybody, today we're taking a look at how to creating some gaps on a low poly surface where the gap is interactive, moving to create a pretty good impression how the gap will look later on the final model. If this is helpful for you, please share this channel. Okay, first we need a model and second we need an intersection plane where we want to create the gap. For example, I right now just create a normal plane, rotate it maybe a little bit and the gap I want is here on the front surface. And I just imagine the line that will cut it through the object through this plane and what I now think would look cool is maybe something like this here. I want some radius, so I bevel it, do some more or less high subdivision, and that's it. Now I have to smooth my object. Or what I also can do is, if I don't want to smooth it and want to keep the older low poly version, I can go to a smooth proxy, subdiv proxy. And what now happened is there is a folder created with the high poly and the low poly. The low poly is referenced to the high poly. So if I select here these uh, edges and put it up, also the high poly comes with it. What I also can do is under smooth subdiv proxy, I can go up with the resolution if I want to. Next step, I give them the right names. I select the high poly. And my cut plane. And then I go on the rendering, tune, assign outline, add new tune. And what now happens is I see outlines everywhere. That's not what I want. I want just the intersection line. And if you see, if I press on the intersection line, this line appears. That's what I want. Now what I have to do is I have to tweak some settings. It's not that hard because I can save them uh, later as presets so I don't have to do this anytime. So first I go to the profile line and turn it down to zero. You see the outline shrinks down. Also the crease line, I shrink it down to zero. The border line also to zero. And what we are now leaving with is just this line at the front. So I hide the cutting plane. Maybe it's a little bit thick right now. So I go to the line width, turn it down to maybe something like this. Hide my low pulley and you see, I got a pretty good expectation how the cut will look like. So what's pretty cool right now? I have the low pulley and I have the high pulley. So if, if I go to the low pulley, I can edit these uh, values, I can model live and see how the gap will behave on the surface. Beware and think of if I move it too high, I'm leaving my clipping, my cutting plane. So I also have to edit the, the cutting line that uh, my outline appears. So that's a pretty, pretty handy way to create uh, cut lines that are not three dimensional, but they are a good expectation to see how the product will look later. If this is helpful for you, please share this channel and thanks for watching.